morning peeps welcome back to my youtube channel i'm amanda j this is miss glamazon fab over 40. so you're all welcome here right as you can see i have a small amount of makeup on but no lippy <laughs> i'm here today to do a friend of mine actually i'll tell you the story i was down in the pharmacy yesterday picking up a couple of bits which uh will be in a, i will show you in a future video and um the wee girl was admiring my waves and I said, oh, thanks very much. And she asked me how I got them. I told her I do them with a GHD. Please don't get on the GHD, baby. You'll burn yourself. Good girl. I said, I do them with a GHD. Now, I will be honest, my waves are done. Uh, my big, are done with the big GHD, the ones I did. But I was asking her, I mean, does she know how, she said she didn't have to GHD cut her hair. And she's a lovely wee girl. And I just said, you know what? I said, I'll do, with me, I'll do a video and put it up on my channel. And then the next time I'm down there, I'll tell her it's up. So, her name is Janet. She's a lovely girl. Very, very nice lady. Very nice girl. Very sound. Okay. We are pinning up the top part of our hair. Now, usually, lads, I would use the GHT Curl Spray, but I'm assuming that not everybody and his dog will have that. So, probably the best thing to do is to just do it the way I did before I got the GHT uh, Curl Spray. So you're actually splitting your hair into half, half up, half down. And then yet again, you're splitting it from the bottom and you're bringing some forward on each side. Now, if your hair is shorter than mine, use a, use a scrunchie or a hair tie. If it's longer than mine, then it'll just sit there. Okay, so there are several ways to do GHD curls. Take a piece of hair, not too big because um, we don't want we want, to, we want a curl that you can see, right? Let's see if I have this right. Bugger. See, even I'm struggling with this. And then you just pick, literally turn it around like that. You can see it going in the hair. And you bring it down the hair. Slowly. So I'm awkward, here's a sack of shit here. Down the hair slowly. And what you get is a loose curl. Okay. So I apologise, lads, if it's a bit awkward on the bottom layer. So we're taking another small piece. And because and you're, you're twisting the GHD back and around, and then you. Pulling it down the hair, like so. It gets to the bottom, you're twisting it into a curl and pushing it back. There's two curls. <laughs> okay, my friends, I'm gonna do a few of these curls off camera. And when it comes to the top layer on this side, I'll show you how to do the top layer. Okay, so hold on to your hats. Okay, we're back and we have the bottom layer done. As you can see, Bottom layer is done. So what I am going to do is I'm going to very lightly clip the bottom layer, the bottom layer out of my way with just a clip, so that when I take down the top layer, it doesn't interfere with it. I can see where I have to curl. Now I'm going to do another layer. I think I might do just keep the front bits out and do them last. Okay. So we clip this lot up. Wow, this is sexy. Have a sexy mama, I wish. Now, as you can see, lads, I have an ass load of hair. It's deceptively so at the back. At the front, I'm almost bald, but at the back, I have an ass load of hair. So again, we're starting the same process, but we're gonna brush it first. Brush through it, make sure there's no tangles. Both sides, gently. Now you're not brushing the stuff you've curled, you're only brushing the new stuff that you've taken down. And again, you're going to split it. You're going to take from the back. And you're going to work. Twist your GHD, like so. And you're going to bring it slowly down. If you have to hold on to the tip of it with your hand, feel free to do so. Bring it slowly down. Slowly, slowly does it. I apologise if you can't see my, my face. But it's the hairdo you need to see. 
and you get just a little bend and you flick it back and you take your next little piece. Do, 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 do. Now let's have a look and see. Mm -hmm. It just takes an awful lot of time to do, lads, um, when you're trying to do it for a camera, for an audience, okay? There's pressure. When I'm doing it for myself, there's none. So I'm going to brush this piece again as flat as you can get it in your hands. Take the GHD down it, twist the GHD, twist your hair back so it's underneath, grab it here and slowly bring it down. And what you get, turn it around your fingers, is a light wave. It works the very same way with the big uh, kick-ass GHD. The only difference is the curl you get with it is a lot looser than this. It's barely a bend. Okay, so yet again, you're running your brush through your hair, grabbing your little piece, like so, in between your fingers, bringing your GHD down it to smoothen it, get most of the way down, flick your GHD, bring your hair under, grab it here, and pull down. And what you get is a smooth little curl. And you flick it back and you move on to your next curl. You can see them coming together there, lads. And you take your next piece and you brush it and you grab it between your two fingers. What is that? Oh, and I'm done this. And you GHD down the hair like this and you flick it. And you bring your hair under, so you can see it here at the bottom, the tail end. And you bring your GHD down it. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And you turn it back with your fingers. And you have curls. Okay, my friends, I'm going to continue with this on both sides till we get to the final layer. And I'll show you how to do the bangs. And we are back and we are on to the last row of curls, my friends. The last row. There's the second row. We're down to the very last row of curls. As you can see, there's only the top half of it left. So again, we're taking the rest that we've curled and I'm gonna try and get as much of it into this clip as I can. It will make life that little bit easier when it comes to doing the rest because we won't be curling the same hairs twice. Okay, and again, we're running the brush through it. I'm no hairdresser, I'm no professional, so I make that uh, statement here now to you guys. I am not a professional hairdresser. Now, I have done hair in the past, 20, up to over 20 years ago. But that was 20 years ago and time has marched on as have all of the techniques that are presently being used by hairdressers now on the top layer you have to really make sure you smoothen it out flick it and bring it down slowly and just turn it as you're bringing it down now you turn it as you're bringing it down bring it all the way down to the ends and then it'll just fall into its whatever position it's going to fall into That's a pretty shit curl, but you know what? You, you get shit curls. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. You just have to motor on. It doesn't always be perfect. And again, you're taking it around, you're pulling it down, and you're just basically weaving it through here like this. And as it goes through, it curls the hair. And you twist it around your finger, and you have a little curl. And you're doing this around your whole head. That one's done. And you're getting close to the front pieces now, my friends. Again, I'm gonna straighten this 
one quick pass and then I'm going to flick it around. I want it sleek when it's done and then you're just going to feed it through and down. Pulling it down as you're feeding it through and you get a little wave like that. I said my hair doesn't always turn out perfect but you know what whatever way it goes it goes I just have to live with it okay so we are approaching the bangs now so we're taking the second last piece of hair again smoothing it out holding it between your two fingers twisting it over and then going down with the GHD now I don't want it to look too far a faucet so I'm actually going to pull on that curl. Okay, now we're onto the bangs. So, you very lightly brush the bangs. Otherwise, not, well, the Americans call them bangs, we call them fringe. Okay, and we bring the GHD up underneath. Bring it along, flick it, turn it, hold it, and then let it go. And there's your bangs. So that's one side done completely. Well, I'm going to finish off the other side and I'm going to come back and show you when I get to the bangs on the other side. Okay. Well, peeps, we're near the end of this shit show. <laughs> we're on to the last piece of hair. As you can see, the rest of it's been curled. Now, to do the bangs, I'm afraid I can't look at you and do it at the same time. So I apologize if anybody thinks I'm being rude or not. I have some very short pieces here. Um, due to the blonde lads, the bleach, the, the blonde. Okay, we go over it once and then we flick. We bring it back. And there it is flicked. And there my friends, are my cool girl waves done with a small GHD. You're getting a tighter curl with the smaller GHD than you would with the big mama. But um, they're completely, a different curl it's less of it's more of a curl than a wave right so i just have to leave this to cool down which i'm not entirely sure how long that's going to take but i will be back to show you what it looks like when i've brushed it out and let's assume when i brush it out i might just put a bit of oil in my hands and run oil through it and just loosen out the curls with my fingers so that would be the normal way that you would do it if you were doing this on yourself. Now, sometimes I brush it if I want a Hollywood, if I want a looser wave. Or you can just get your fingers and just break up the curls like that. Pull them down, break them up. But you have to make sure they're cool first. I wouldn't go breaking them up until you're certain that they're cool enough to be broken up. They're not mine are not yet. So I will be back to show you the finished. What I'll do is I'll end the video here. And when I have completed the style, I'll insert a photo at the end. So you will see what it looked like when it was complete. So I hope that you all enjoyed that and you find it informative. Anyone wanting to curl their hair with a GHD, that is the way I do it. Now, I mean, it's not perfection. I'll, I'll be the first to admit I haven't been curling my hair with a GHD very long. I normally use a curling tongs. But I've discovered that you can do everything with a GHD. You can do with a curling tongs. So why use a hair dryer, a straightener and a curling tongs when you can get away with just using it too? The mind would boggle to do anything else. Right, my friends, that is the finished look, more or less, except to put my fingers out through to loosen the curls. I'll insert a photograph after this, as I've said. I'm wishing you all a very happy Valentine's Day for tomorrow. I hope, uh, if, I hope um, the singletons like myself, I will be... Putting on a good romance movie, um, I'm doing myself a nice oven baked piece of fish and some homemade french fries for dinner tomorrow. I might do the skinny bitch french fries, otherwise known as the slimming world french fries, with my fish. I'm looking forward to it. Just chill out, me and the dog, watch a couple of romance movies. I might even fly around to Tesco's later on and get myself a bottle of non-alcoholic Copperberg for tomorrow. 207 calories in that around. It's a lot of calories in the, in, the, in the thing of Copperberg. Actually, I must look it up. I have it in my, I scanned it. I have it in. There's a lot of calories in it. So you wouldn't really have any more than one if you're watching your figure. 
Okay, my friends, that is the curls. Photograph will be inserted now. Have a lovely Valentine's Day. Take care of each other and mind yourselves. Try and stay away from the big bad bug. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider joining my little family. You'd be more than welcome. I post videos normally. I aim for once a week and I tend to meet that schedule. But sometimes you might get three videos in a week. You might get two videos in a week. You might just get one in a week. It depends on my uh, how motivated I am. If an idea comes into my head and I go, oh yeah, the guys need to know about this, then I will do a video about it. If I want to have a rant, I will rant on video. You've seen my rants, guys. Right, I'm gonna go. Have a happy St. Valentine's Day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I will talk to you all in my next video. So bye.